Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about graph representation and in the previous tutorial we discussed about the adjacency matrix representation. Today in this tutorial we'll talk about the adjacency list representation. In the adjacency matrix representation we'll create k into k matrix first. k is nothing but the number of nodes present in the graph. Then both the row and column of the matrix represent the nodes of the graph. And if there is an edge between two nodes, then we'll store the value 1. If there is no edge between two nodes, then we'll store the value 0. We can represent a graph using adjacency matrix like this. But in the adjacency matrix, we'll store the result for both the cases. That is, in both the graph representation, adjacency matrix and adjacency list, we are talking about the adjacent nodes. Here the question is whether there is an edge from one node to another node, whether the two nodes are adjacent node or not. The answer for this question is yes or no. In the adjacency matrix, we are storing both the result. If there is an edge from one node to another node, we are storing value 1. If there is no edge, then also we are storing a value for that, that is 0. So we are storing both the result in the adjacency matrix. That's why we need more space in the adjacency matrix. If you are representing a dense graph using adjacency matrix, then that is okay because there will be less zeros in the adjacency matrix. But in this past graph, we'll have more zeros than the one and we are wasting the memory to store zeros. That's why to store the sparse graph, adjacency matrix is not a good option. So what we'll do in adjacency list? Today we'll talk about that. In the adjacency list, instead of storing the both the result like adjacency matrix, we'll, we only store adjacent nodes of each node. We'll store the list of adjacent node of every node. Here we need to write the A's adjacent nodes. A is adjacent to which and all node. Because this is an undirected graph, you can say in another way also. You can say like B and C and D are the adjacent nodes of A. You can say in another way also. Here I'm not storing the values like 0 or 1. Here we are storing the adjacent node itself. For B, adjacent nodes are A, D and E. For C, A, D. For D, A, B, C and E. And for E, B and D. Right, so this is the adjacency list. Instead of storing both the result, whether there is an edge from one node to another node, instead of that, what we are doing is, we are making the list of adjacent node of every nodes, and we are storing that. Okay, so let's take another example. If we have directed graph, so for A, adjacent nodes are, we need to write down the A is adjacent to which and all node. Here there is an edge from A to B, that's why A is adjacent to B. That's why I need to write down B here. There is an edge from A to C. That's why A is adjacent to C. That's why I need to write down he this here. Okay, so this is the adjacency list. Next, now what about the weighted graph? Now if you have weighted graph, then how to represent this using adjacency list? So for that, you can mention like this, okay? adjacent node with its cost. For example, for A to B, B is the adjacent node with cost phi, right? So you can write it like B phi, like this, C4, D10. We can store the cost as well as adjacent nodes. For B, A phi, E3, D1, like this, okay? You can write it for every node. Like this you can represent the graph using adjacency list now if I want to represent a graph using adjacency list in Python programming language how to do that so for that we can use dictionary here you can see this is the key the nodes are the key and these are the values and you can represent like this list of values for this weighted uh, graph either you can represent it like this uh, list of list Okay, or you can take a dictionary also. You can represent it like this also. Okay, all right, this is about the adjacency list. And in the next tutorial, we'll talk about the different operation which we can perform on graph. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will meet you in next class. Till then, take care.